Alright, okay, alright, oh alright. We on me? Alright, everyone shut up. I gotta do the intro. I'm so nervous! <laughs> nervous! Alright, ready? Alright, shut up. Hello everyone, welcome to Cold Ones. I'm your host, Anything for Views. Welcome. Today's sponsors are Gamersups. Head over to gamersups.gg and use code Cold Ones for 10% off. You can also claim 200 free samples, link down below, but only to US customers only. So first in, first dressed, best dressed, something like that. Also, <laughs> shut up, I'm doing the intro. <laughs> also, our sponsor, Cool Shirts. Head over to shirts with a Z. Dot cool and use code cold ones for 10% off. Oh, yeah. Also, this is my hello, everyone. Max Mofo here, co host, and <laughs> this man <laughs> waving in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, our guest, Fitz. Hi. What's your real name, Fitz? Cam. Cam, that's right. What's F Cameron? Cameron. What's your last name? Cam for short. I'm not telling you that. People know. What's your address? What's bro? my address? What's your social security number? Cam is a Fitz is a Fortnite YouTuber and a CS:GO YouTuber. Don't know about that one. Okay, very edgy man. Oh, also we have a new set. Uh, as you guys can see, this is a new cold one set. Look at that sign, yeah? You guys like signs? Yeah. If yeah? Podcast, you guys seen hot ones? It was very expensive, so pledge to the Patreon, which is down the link. You said promote Patreon, so it's right down there, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Let's grab a drink. Can I get a slave to bring us a drink, please? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> do you guys do I have to sign? like a waiver before I do this show? It comes after. It comes sure. after? Yeah. When, when drunk. I'm drunk? Yeah. Can I get a lawyer present? Uh, yeah, sure. You got one in mind? Can you just pan to my lawyer off screen, just like in a suit, just like looking? That, what, that guy? Yeah, that, <laughs> that's my lawyer. Hey, let's put a PNG post edit of on PewDiePie yeah. over there. Put a suit on him. So fits. How's your experience so far at this I mean, epic I'm, show? I'm in it. I'm all in. I'm here. Well, you do your you do your own podcast. So you go through slight ways at this when you start. Where you just guys got nothing to talk Our about. Our podcast is very different. We do like we we fuck around for like 20 minutes beforehand. That's for Patreon, and then mm. we just do it all in one take, and we don't cut anything out. But what happens if someone end bombs? Uh, then we censor it probably, but oh, we don't okay. really end bomb on the podcast. I, I say because that. normal people have brains that don't just. There's a word in my head. I must say that now. No, it's because I save it for the Fortnite videos. But, uh, you know, of course. we just keep the podcast like semi clean. Let's bring up what you were saying earlier about um, the dreams, the fantasies. Hey, hey, we're not bringing okay. up that. Okay. Right. That's like okay. jail time. Can we not bring that up? That's not, that, if we brought, it's so relevant, though. That's your childhood, right? Come on. Your boarding school. Yeah. Well, tell us something about what happened to boarding, boarding school. I went to boarding school, yeah. It sucked. What was that like? Well, you're kind of forced to have friends in boarding school. Yeah. You're being stuck with um, I was bullied in boarding school, and I kind of feel like it was a blessing. I feel like some kids need to be bullied, and I was one of them. Yeah, that's why we're really getting into this, okay? <laughs> uh, so the bullying... That's the why Chad's outlook on some Twitter and shit, he's like... Yeah, well, that's what he thinks on fucking online. He's well, like, I don't, I this don't, is my position to well, fucking here's the difference. tell these people... Here's, here's the difference. Just, uh, Oh my god, you've had two I've drinks, had, bro. This is a new table, don't spill I'm gone. I'm I thought gone. you guys did this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I went to like a, uh, a boarding school and like when I got there, I was a bit socially retarded. Mm. Um, I didn't know if that was just because of my primary school, like where I grew up, but like, well, I wasn't like, I wasn't like bullied to the point where like I was called fat or something like Oof, that. God forbid. Uh, you weren't yeah. called fat or, <laughs> or, or something like, I wasn't called like fat or like a fat or anything dumb like that. What were you called, Chad? Yeah, what's I was bullied because I'd sit down at my computer during like uh, like uh, spare time and I, instead of going and playing, kicking the footy with the boys or uh, going and fucking around, I'd sit at my computer and like not socialize. So you weren't very alpha. I wasn't alpha, no. So but is that why you grew the beard to sort of... No, that's to cover the double chin. Okay. And then I, I have fantasies <laughs> about killing the teachers because the teachers were pricks. Did you have fantasy about killing your teachers, Fitz? I mean, like, I've killed people, but not my teachers. Where did you go to school and how popular were you? I was not popular in, like, regular school. And then I went to a really weird school when I was, like, 14, where is, which is where I met Toby, my co-host on the Misfits podcast. It was like a private school, but it wasn't an expensive private school. It was very weird, very niche. It was like 50 kids there. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so it was... Was that so boys only? Is that because you're nah, boys and girls. small town? Or? No, I, I lived in Auckland, New Zealand, so it's like it's pretty big. It's like Melbourne, but smaller. It's like the only place that I know from New Zealand. Auckland. Auckland. Say, yeah. That's, yeah. The only, that's the only city I've been. I went there to get laid. It's kind of a boring city, but you know, it was great. I mean, I didn't really have any, I didn't have like a dark childhood or anything. Well, what was it? Chat's, Chat's like probing. <laughs> <for some. laughs> well, my, <laughs> There's not really any back. dirt there. You know, well, I had a kind of rough time in, in primary school, I guess, but that was about That's it. Everyone has a rough everyone time. Everyone has a rough time. time you know? Why, what was the decision between your family sending you off to a boarding school? Well, it was my decision, really. Like, yeah. I just, when I was 14, I found that I just had a lot of problems with the school system in general. Like, I wasn't, I just, 
didn't feel like I fit in there. I was never paying attention in class. I was like ditching class sometimes yeah. and uh, didn't have like the greatest social life there. So like a change needed to happen. And uh, we just by chance, by word of mouth, found this kind of like weird niche school. And I went for a day and it was it was, it was odd for yeah. sure. Yeah. We did, but, I, did, uh, I did that like first day where you go in and they walk you around the school. Yeah, it was yeah, like I that. Did that as why, well. why was it like... You're well, saying it's like uh, this niche it's, school, but this is like a big to topic like a to get into. It, it was a weird place. I've talked about it on our podcast, uh, uh, which is the Misfits podcast. What, do you remember what episode it was? Uh, episode thirty-seven. Yeah, we went into uh, to, uh, to it in depth there, but I mean, basically, this was a school with no classrooms. There were no real teachers. They were quali- they, they were qualified as teachers, but they didn't behave like teachers. There was no like lessons. It's like some experimental school. It was experimental for sure. It was kind of like a borderline hippie almost. Yeah, but. In the co- I mean, honestly, I'm very grateful for this school because I feel like I came out of it with a bunch of social skills that I wouldn't have. You also came out of it with like a lifetime friend. Yeah, well, big time. Yeah. I made a lot of really good friends at that yeah. school because it was so close. You, you couldn't really afford to fall out. And like yeah. if you had problems with each other, you had to work through it yeah. um, or leave basically because yeah. you're going to have to see him every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so. It's like they say for normal schools even now, like a lot of them were designed to produce factory workers yeah well in the industrial revolution yeah, yeah so it's like that's a whole different thing where someone's going against the grain to make yeah like because like what was the goal with that school to produce it started um with parents who were homeschooling their kids mm-hmm. but they wanted them to have a social life ah. so the best way to describe a school is basically like homeschooling but with other kids yeah uh-huh. that's that's kind of how it worked so like you did all of your uh, exams internally through essays and stuff. Yeah. There were no like time limits. It was like you get your work done at your own pace. It was kind of like up to me to finish my maths homework or my English or whatever. If like I went two weeks with doing no work, they'd call me out. They'd be like, yo, you're kind of like slipping here. Yeah. And I'd get them back on track. But yeah. like I got a lot of independence very early on from. That sounds like, yeah, more freedom that you would have at like a university. Yeah, or it was really. At a younger age. It was really more similar to a university than a school. And we could like leave the school as well and go to town and like buy food and shit. You know, oh, we could like is, sign this, out. This is the complete like opposite to my boarding school. Yeah, yeah I can that imagine. Does sound like boarding school sounds. Yeah. Boarding school, boarding my school boarding sounds school, rough. My boarding school was like literal bars on the windows in the boarding homes. Like you couldn't leave the premises without being signed out or escorted by someone. Mm. So with boarding school, you stay there for. Like you just sleep. And um. So the, the one the one I went to was uh, a school. Same with you. Like they bring ho- either ho- rural homeschool people to it mm-hmm. or international students or like we had a lot of indigenous students that came from like other rural communities they bring them in on a scholarship as well so we had that and then it was also a day school so that we'd have days we call them day bugs but we also had a boarding section for boys and girls mm-hmm. right but it was just a fucking prison and the people they hired <laughs> it was and the people they hired they for, for people like because we needed parenting we needed adults because there was a lot the boarding school was huge we used to have like a hundred of each. we had 100 boys and 100 girls so it was huge we needed a lot of staff yeah but to skimp out on prices i guess they used to hire like backpackers to like to help do with us with our activities Bruh. like not to, t- to teach the classes <laughs> no no like to like <laughs> escort us around and like okay. make sure we're doing our work because they go they go what? around with that they, explain well, a lot you of just things got yeah. backpackers traveling they were like people. like there were people that like would like come from another country could speak barely english but all their jobs were <laughs> I'm serious. Raised by their, job, to work. By, by their job was to walk works. by our desk, and if we weren't fucking working, they would yell at us. Hit you with a stick. Yeah, exactly. Sounds like a concentration camp. It fuck it was. It was hell. Why do you think I left? Think Are about- you sure it was a boarding school, Chad? It was a boarding school. I left the school because it was actual hell. It wasn't because of the kids. It's because the teachers all sucked. Okay. You Your parents maybe- didn't drop you off at like a concentration camp. Or- they may have, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how different you would have turned out if you went to my school. Probably a lot mm. better. More subscribers. More Maybe, maybe in misfits, not cold ones. You never know. <laughs> that I, I remember the one fact about that school is it had the most students leave it than any other school in the state. Really? Yeah. Wow. So the, the, it was like revol- the reason I got into that school actually because I didn't enter it at the start of the year. I entered it the first term of the year because a spot opened up because mm. people left. So I was a latecomer and I lasted two and a bit years in it. And I just like I remember I, I, I threatened to kill a teacher. Okay, let's talk like, about that real quick. No, I can't remember the exact argument, but I kept arguing with this one teacher. He was like, he was like 23. He was really young. And he was just a massive prick, and I kept arguing with him constantly. And one day he came in. He had a go at me for nothing because I was, I was in this mindset of like, I'll be really good and I'll be happy if I don't get in any trouble from teachers. I'll be happier because I was constantly getting in trouble. So I had like a month where I was like 
the best kid. Like everything was on time. I was always, I was never tardy. I was never a shithead. I was just like I, head down, ass up. Also, because my dad threatened wait, to beat. Uh, wait, ass up. Wasn't getting raped by priests. This, okay, don't worry. You said ass up. You, you head down, ha- head down, ass up. It's like a thing, like in working. That's not a thing, isn't it? No. Okay, maybe it's uh, whatever. <laughs> I was on my way to class. And I got pulled up by the principal. I'm like, oh, he just because he's really nice. He was, I think he was a pedophile, but he was really nice. That explains that. And he, yeah. he grabs pedophiles me. Pedophiles would be yeah. really nice mm. to kids in daylight hours. I would. They assume. got good people skills. Pedophiles. I'm pretty sure if you Google the. Kid- Oh, for fuck's sake, Chad. Tell, don't tell, say that. I don't give a shit. It was a shit school. Tell me if the principal... <laughs> hey, bro, give me his first and last name. I don't remember. Just tell me if he was a pedophile. Look at the newspaper. Principal what? What was his name, bro? What <laughs> I think it was. Don't say that. Bleep it. <laughs> What's wrong anyway, anyway, I remember he brought me to the office and he sat me down and they didn't... On his cock? I... <laughs> Bruh. You almost said I wish there. <laughs> he almost said I wish yeah, there. I, oh, I, I sense that as well. <laughs> Bruh, I wish. Uh, anyway, he, br- he brings me and he sits me down and he, go- and he goes, oh. he, they didn't kick me out. They asked me to leave. Much more nicer. Wait, the school? Yeah, they yeah. asked me to leave. So they- even the principal didn't want to fuck you. Yes. <laughs> the pedophilic principal didn't want to fuck he me. He was like, you know what? This kid's too much. He's gonna Can leave. school He's sue me go. for slander? So, Sweet. <laughs> they definitely can. <laughs> leave it in. Lucky this is a fantasy episode where we're talking about things that didn't happen. No, this definitely happened. What about York? Tell us about your school. We're we'll going. No, we're not going about a big fucking school thing. Let's get some grog. Uh, can we get some school right Also, we've Smash got life. to focus on fits a bit more. Yeah, I like how I, like you're the guest now. Oh, <laughs> so, that's what I said. It's I'm like so used cha- to doing my podcast that I just interview anyone. I'm <laughs> stop! Stop negating it to me. <laughs> it's not even a. It's not even a podcast uh, guest t- thing. It's a I fucking like. It's just Chad rambling. So moving on from your school life, do you think? Going to that weird hippie school influenced you in any other parts of your life with YouTube or deciding like, oh, I can do things outside the box? Definitely outside the box. It's very weird. Since going there, my life in general has been outside the box in, in lots of ways mm-hmm. and YouTube especially that. Yeah. I think it also just gave me like a lot of confidence in just dealing with people in general, you know? I yeah. just become yeah. more of an asshole. Pretty well, much. Well, like I the- actually have liked you a lot better, like the more I know you. A lot so better. You right, that when I first sense. met you, you, were quite abrasive. You got to know that. I think that's kind of the impression you. <laughs> well, you we, we had we had some moments together, like when it was just me and you. We had some like really good bonding moments. Whenever you and me talked one on one, it was yeah. always like Chad's a great yeah. guy. What has happened here? We're just we're reconciling. When you guys here. were. In, oh, nothing alone happened. But okay. Like oh. my my first experience with with Chad was always him like being super obnoxious in an Uber and like pissing off the Uber driver. That's or, like a or mooning the Uber driver. Remember you did that in Boston? He literally mm. pulled down his pants in front of an Uber driver, and it was kind of like, you know. Well, you say that you say that, but there's sometimes when I act like that, we had good experiences. Like the trip here today, when you went home. We had a nice trip with an Uber. Can you bring up your phone and play a little bit of the audio? I will of that? put it in the video. There were, we, we had will, a. We, we added, you guys recorded that? I no. recorded some of it. Chad was talking about fucking whores or something. And the Uber driver. Uh, had the a Uber driver was. Smoke. He was quiet the whole time. And then why did he interject? Because no, he no, he didn't interject because we were talking about. We were just like, what do you fu- think about that? Yeah, he was smirking when I was talking about prostitutes. And this guy just goes on a rant. He's like. If you want to fuck prostitutes, you go he's here. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go to, oh he's like, God. I just got out of a four-year marriage. Guess where I'm going? I'm going to Thailand. He's giving you fucking tips about in Thailand, where to go, what places to fucking How much it is. It's like a hooker tour guide. Hookers are not as cheap as they used to be over there. When I started going there in 2011, yeah. um, one Aussie dollar was 35 baht. That's the currency. Now it's just 23 baht, which is horrible. I can't wait. That's why I'm looking extra. To save up for horse. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love you. Can I come? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, when we're in that, I, that was the first thing I always go to say is, there's no way you're getting fucking Five more stars. than one star. Yeah. And then that guy was just like, another Chad who also drives an Uber. I like having a nice... I think I think if, if I act stupid in the Uber, it's either going to make a really awkward experience or a really good experience. But I feel like the good experiences always outweigh the shitty ones. Yeah, but sometimes you take it to... Like in Boston. Boston was a big event for you because <laughs> there are lots of things I remember about your behavior during uh, Boston. I was wasted. We were like waiting at like the uh, downstairs of a hotel. There's a revolving door and families are walking past. A, a mother walks past with a baby in her arms and Chad goes, that's a cute baby. I want to fucking eat it. I want to eat it. You literally said this to a mother. I don't remember that. I was drunk. Was he intoxicated? Or I don't believe anything? you were. I honestly, I'm, in good I, faith, do yeah, not believe you were. would say that. Hey, this next <laughs> shot goes out to our sponsor, <laughs> Cool Shirts. Yeah, play yeah. the skit. Woo. We have yeah, a cool. skit for Cool Shirts. Are you a stupid, fucking, boring idiot? Check out my friend Yuri here. 
Wow, so bland and tasteless. Do you look like shit, like this poorly dressed, pathetic excuse for a human being? Well, good news, you don't have to. Cool shirts makes you look cooler and very epic. You look great. He even smells good now. You too can be as cool as this if you... What's the fucking thing? You too can look just as cool as this by going to shirtswithaz.cool and using cold ones to get 10% off. What's more, if you're in the first 100 customers, you'll get 15% off by using the same code. That's cold ones for 15% off. If you're the first 100 or 10% off, still a massive saving on shirtswithaz.cool. Buy it now! Buy it now! Wait, what's that? I'm getting so many Tinder matches! It's, well, it's surely because of the shirt. Even though you haven't updated your picture yet, they probably sense it. You, that could happen to you if you buy it, if you use the code and buy the shirts. He's going to fuck now. <laughs> Back. Look at the swagger and confidence he has in his walk. Uh, bro, I'm trying to walk. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> if you'd like to be cool like Yuri, go to shirtswithaz.cool and use the code cold ones to get 15% off if you're among the first 100 customers only. If you're late, the code still works for a whopping 10%. Oh my god, he's Fortnite. That he's, he's doing that dance from the video game. Okay, can we, can we stop him? Make him stop! No! <laughs> oh. Be honest with me, does Scott get paid enough for this shit? We don't pay him. What bro, he ain't paid as an intern, bro. Once he, once he establishes that he has skills, he can start working at the company. We've got an intern at Misfits, but a university pays for him. Like, completely. Like What the fuck? It, can it's, we get a that? uni does. Yeah, like, it's part of their system. Like, they pay a wage for them so they can go and get experience in the workforce. So what category would be working... For the misfits uh, be under. I'm pretty like, sure he's I want to do media. He's going to have to move into a real internship soon, but like he's just kind of like. He's going to need that. a psychologist or something. Are you not ter Are you not terrified of leaking uh, information and things about like what does he do exactly? Oh, he's just helping upset the office. Like it's literally like. A, do you then a, say fuck off before we film or before huh? we do this or anything like that? Fuck off what? Like is he ever around when you're doing anything? Oh, like, that's no, fine. Okay. Like, you're not scared. All, all he's going to steal public. Like, he's going to steal documents or something, bro. I don't think so. <laughs> that's a, that's the problem I have with something like that. I feel like You're paranoid. Well, yeah, a paranoia of if they're a fan or a big fan that that's going to be worth more to them. He's than... not a big fan. He's pretty chill. Yeah, but, but I see what you're saying. It's not. Even, it's not even necessarily you... being a fan straight away. It's like these people are. Right. You know, and I can. I can them. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it's like doing this or taking this or whatever is worth more to me than what I'm going to get out of fucking going through with. I guess, but there's not much there for him to, to exploit, I don't think. If I hired someone here as an intern, or if we actually paid someone, I'd say, no phone. Really? No phone? No phone. Yeah. Okay, Chad's more paranoid than me. You fucking know, you know how many things I say which I don't want on audio? Well, a that's lot. the thing. His ratio is definitely higher than anyone yeah. else that I would what? consider. What ratio? N-word ratio? Like anything. Anything. <laughs> I just fucking yeah. half of his speech in general i'm just a fucking idiot i don't mean anything i say i just fucking regurgitate edgy shit because it makes myself giggle he does but i think a lot you of should like work on that right. let's continue the b story about your schooling life sure ask After me questions though no <laughs> <laughs> i'm the fucking co-host do your job do your job um so after after doing all that blah blah blah, you went did you go to university for art or something like that? I went to university for one year. I was gonna go into law, but I posted out at the last second and did an arts degree at Bachelor of Arts. Is that because arts. that was like, oh, this is more cruisy, I can f fuck around? It's or? because like I was like any kid at eighteen and I didn't know if it was if I was ready to commit myself to like a degree like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Oh well arts will be fun, like I can pick a variety of things and discover myself and you know, figure out like yeah. What, and that's what all, really did fuck you up. And also, a, a big part of it was also <laughs> that, like, to get a law degree in New Zealand, you have to do a year of arts anyway. And it didn't go very well. <laughs> like, university was very different to my school in the sense that, like, at my school, I was very interested in everything that I pursued. And at university, it felt very much like it was just learn information for the test, pass the test, and that's the right. system. You know, like, there were lecturers and it wasn't a very personal experience, which my school very much was. That and makes sense. when did you start doing YouTube, like, with amongst all this fucking noise? Was this like... I did YouTube as soon as I finished school in the summer holidays. That's when I started my channel. I called it Fits. 
I made like cringy Daisy videos. Uh, and then when I was at uni, I would like bulk record videos and then go to university in a different city and then drop them slowly over time. So like kind of did it like that. And then when I dropped out of uni, I, I got a waiting job yeah. and what was, it. what was your big break on YouTube that separated you from doing the waiting job and the saying like YouTube's full time now? It took me, uh, about a year and a half of doing YouTube just on the side as like a hobby. It was halfway through my uh, waiting job. I posted a video of me shout casting this kid on a surf server who was really bad at surfing. And it was like, a, I was pretending to be an esports commentator yeah. and like he was getting really pissed off and someone's uh, not got their phone on silent. Whose phone was it? Raise your hand. Come on. Raise your, come on. Oh, oh no. Your phone. Your phone? Kill him. You fucking idiot. Shut the fuck up. My big break was, yeah, just to surf. I, I blew up off Reddit, to be honest with you. A big part of my growth was posting videos that I knew the CSGO subreddit would like <laughs> and then getting upvoted and then eventually one just got on YouTube recommended and it will kind of snowball You're posting from there. your own videos? Yeah, I'm self-promoting a little bit. That's you know? cringe, bro. Yeah, how many people we've met that's done that? Like a lot. Yeah. Hey, I feel like that that's an, a thing that's not talked about. Not necessarily just specifically the Reddit thing, but the desperation of people wanting to grow when they're smaller, who are already established now. I wouldn't the call it desperation. The things, that, the, <laughs> the, the things that people have done to get there, like commenting on every fucking other, doing sub for subs and shit like that. There's some cringe. And now when they go, oh yeah, you should never do that. Like you shouldn't I, I, comment in people's sections and all this, blah, blah, blah. I didn't do that stuff, but the Reddit thing I, was more like... Like I would, I was making high quality videos to be honest, and they were targeted to a CS:GO audience. They were, they were quality. Yeah, okay. They were quality videos. So you're posting them in the CS:GO I was animating. subreddit. Uh, yeah, okay. and I'd be like, "This is my video," and you know, people liked it. Like it was, you know, Gus Johnson is like, like beloved on R slash videos, right? Yeah. He's been a guest on your show. Mm, yeah. Kind of the same dynamic where I just make content that they would enjoy, and they just kind of like enjoyed it frequently that's exactly what gus said he said he would like he would specifically cater to the what was the reddit it was slash r slash haiku. YouTube. yeah haiku yeah. yeah and he would just specifically cater to that i did the same thing with streaming i would always like stream and be like because that was what grew my stream was live stream fails and i'd always do something mm -hmm. and go well i'm gonna see that on live stream fails tonight or i specifically aim to and all streamers do it i'll yeah. aim to like do something because i know it's gonna go on the reddit i know it's gonna get me views i know it's gonna get followers yeah but the problem with reddit is that they're so toxic that if they see you enough they'll be like hey this guy's getting too big for his or boots you do one thing and they'll start pushing yeah, you down one thing you don't like turn. yeah yeah is it supposed to be against the rules though on reddit to do that i guess it's like the self-promotion thing's technically against because yeah. i but i had tried that at some points I think I got some uh, a couple of videos like his phone vibrated. Someone else needs to die. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> Shoot him again! Kill him! So cringe, guys. Okay, yeah, definitely. Reddit is just like toxic by nature. There's always a cycle with things, you know. They'll <laughs> and they'll just they'll learn to hate anything. I don't but know. I, it's I, weird. a lot of people got around that because I remember people would hate anyone posting it on there. Mm. But then people would always link their subreddit and sort of promote the fuck out of it to just grow this side community that well, would do it for them. And then you get on our slash all anyway. And then it's fine. Anyway. It's yeah. just, yeah. And now just people like, just oh, use Reddit. Oh, someone else is posting oh, look, you stuff. Can, now, now, now people I'm just use their subreddit as content. You can yeah, promote like yourself can. on Reddit. You just have to be like careful about the frequency. I just thought it was against the rules in like most subreddits. It's not against that the, was like a you thing can that do people it. were like, no, you can't do that. You can do it as long as you're like also an active member of the subreddit. Mm -hmm. So if you're leaving comments on other posts and that, yeah. then that's kind of enough for them also yeah. to be like, you're, you're okay. Did I, hear, did I hear that through improv, did you used to do, have you done stand up or anything like that before in the past before YouTube? I've done uh, stand up like three times <laughs> at an open mic night. Okay. <laughs> Disastrous. Go on. Terrible. Like... Any comedian who's tried stand-up initially sucks, unless they're really lucky. Um, it was during university. And I, oh, wow. Like I, I was those. always into like performing and comedy, and I tried, and I failed. But, you know, that's how it is at the beginning. And I also did like an improv class for like a year, which was like, you know, Whose Line Is It Anyway at the show? Mm -hmm. yeah, it was like yeah. that. But like, I, I think like I respect people that could do that. Because like to me, that is like one of the most terrifying things to be able to put yourself out there and even yeah. try like with the possibility of failing to yeah. do something like that. It takes balls. It was scary. It takes balls. It was scary. And it's like... Do you think that is uh, also helped you towards like... This is really professional. Do you think that's also helped you towards like YouTube and stuff like that? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> this like this conversation... Usually we're just all... F Where's, can we get another shot? Yeah, please? we haven't even been drinking. Very yeah. Much, I'm this, slurring this my words. Yeah, but this conversation is way too... It's time to read Fitz's old tweets. Can I have, can I have a no, you can't read, on, bro. bro. You can't so read. Let me read the first. 
first one. No. <laughs> Let me breathe the first Scott one. Scott Prump made me promise to never give these to you in, under any circumstance. Is this an agreement I haven't heard of? Yes. One tweet, I'll prove you wrong. I've got drunk brain. <laughs> Should I? Yeah, one tweet to the prove boss you wrong. has if to. I, if, Give me the longest like one. Like the big one? How long are these tweets? All right, we got some tweets. What did tweets. I say? What did uh, I this, say? Okay, so this is from November 26, 2016. Oh, no. These are all from 2016. Wait, how old screen. was I? Oh, like you're 22 19, now. 18, probably? Just for context. You're a Fitz, baby boy. Fitz looks baby. the oldest. Fitz is actually the youngest here. Doesn't look You look oldest. older than me. You look like you're fucking 40, cunt. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Plus. Fuck you all. I'm fat and I have a beard. We all know. All right, so I got to read from the bottom up. That's what the arrow is, man. So this started. <laughs> <laughs> he's made a pretty. He made a pretty good like idea. Of yeah, it. but that was so like. Okay. Whoever's reading them, aka me, can just look at it and not need to announce all the steps that are also on okay. the fucking how many, paper. How many likes does this have? 194 is really? the first tweet. The rest tanked. Mm. Oh, they repl some they're some of them replies. Yeah, they're replies. Oh, okay. So this is where the tweet starts. Dude, why the fuck has my last video been deleted? I wake up and it's just gone. No you email remember? from YouTube. Nothing. What, so what video was that? Guys. What video I, was I, that? Do you remember? I can't remember. It would have been like a funny moment. CSGO funny moments five. Have you or had something. more than one deleted? Like over the or has it just been one that you can remember? Oh, I uh, I can't remember what it was, but I do remember that it happened actually. It was just gone. This is a reply to yourself. Fuck dude, this is honestly so fucked. This video was an on recommended as well. I'm getting tons of new subs coming in. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Boo -hoo, Fitz, Poor boo -hoo. Fitz, bro. <laughs> At slippery sausage. Oh, that's a good cunt. <laughs> can still access my account. And why would they only delete one video? Question mark. Reply to Inart. Okay. I replied to Inut. I replied to Matt. How many know. subs did he have in this time frame? Back in like late 2016, um, like 200k, I think. 200? I don't know. It might be less than that. You're doing charity case. I don't know what Inut said, but it says, yep, pretty much the video is on recommended. Rip new subs. At Team YouTube. <laughs> My latest subs. video has been removed uh, for seemingly no reason. <laughs> I received no email and it has 260k <laughs> oh, it plus suck. views. What should That's I do? That's decent views. Mark. That's not new. bad. That is I would have those views. <laughs> Who wouldn't be pissed? Very, very worrying. I really hope my network can fix this. Who were you with in 2016? I Full was, screen. I'm pretty sure I was with Omnia still. Omnia, oh, yeah. Omnia yeah. existed in 2016? Yeah. I think so. It's either that or Freedom. Free <laughs> I was with, the first network I signed with was Freedom. Uh, and they freedom were terrible? They were kind of terrible, but I could leave at any time. So I was like, you know. Ah, you had okay. the Freedom delete. They locked me in. Is that part of their fucking I guess. name? That's their brand? I guess. All I know is they had like a weird guy. I think it was the CEO of Freedom actually who made YouTube videos. Was his name, was his name Stefano? No, because that's like a meme on my channel. Your last tweet was. Hey, bro, that's Stefano. a Pewdiepie. That's a PewDiePie meme. Did you steal that from PewDiePie? I think PewDiePie you actually that? You stole that, that from me. me. No, PewDiePie had that before then, bro. I don't think he did. What's with everyone stealing it was from, ideas? It was from Amnesia. Look, PewDiePie. He called the, bro, you the Back off. No, bro. no, no. no. From him. Stefano was a character on my channel. What's your character? It wasn't. I did not steal from PewDiePie. Stefano was a character on PewDiePie's channel. I know. From I remember. Oh, well, you know about it. I mean, I bro. never heard of it in my life. I wonder why. It wasn't stolen. Stefano was like a Mexican man on my channel. It's a funny guy. It was There's a lot of tweets. Wait, you were impersonating a Mexican? Is that I was not in person. Can we please just move on to the next tweet, please? Uh, okay, this may be worse, bro. That was All that right, was now this one. one this you, is you're where being we... cringe right now, Chad. All right, ready, ready for this one? This is from 2017, 4th of May. Being a YouTuber is like being married. It's a lot of work and you're not even allowed to hit your wife. I stand by that. <laughs> That's funny, right? That's a funny joke. What did you mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. He comes, just wants to like clarify he tweeted I that. stand by that joke. <laughs> being a YouTuber is like being married. It's a lot of work and you're not even allowed to hit your wife. That got 961 likes. You are, wear that with pride. Put I, it in your pocket, I've bro. I've been funny since day one, dude. That's 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 going home with me. This this is from, this was an older one. 2016, oh, 13th no. of September. Video hasn't even been up for 10 minutes. And it's already got 1,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> I will never get used to that. I'm still not used to that. Have you got used to that I yet? I've not got used to that. I'll be honest with you. Like, I still went, whoa, 1,000 views? You know what I'm saying? Shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm still surprised. What, in like fucking a split second? Without fail. <laughs> How many views do you get now in an hour? A couple hundred thousand? Between 200 and 300,000. Wow. Yeah. Not bad. So it's like, no big deal or whatever. Kind of a big shot. It's been three <laughs> years since that tweet, so you know. That's, a, that's some explosive growth. I'm kind of explosive. I'm kind of an explosive guy in general, so. You know, well, uh, that's, I, run, I was going to say that before. Um, 
a lot of YouTubers now, because the the climate is so primed for it, like people just go from fucking nothing to huge. That never used to be the case because everyone yeah. else who's like r super old YouTube is like had this this hmm. growth. It's like a, a slope, and now it's just like. <laughs> I think it's because like people like YouTube is so diverse now and there's so many big creators that when people see someone new that they like, they're like, fuck yeah, let's get behind this guy. Let's make him like, but they can know. also as quickly get behind them and as quickly as they can leave. That's the same yeah, thing with but a recent channel we're talking about was Philip Solo TV. Have you seen that guy? Like no. reviewing worst restaurant in my city. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's seen him, but now like his channel is just like, it's not like dead, but he yeah, had that, that massive That is growth. like a, yeah, that's like a symptom of becoming famous instantly yeah and like, then it's like like a one hit one yeah. you, yeah. you gotta have like a something that people want to it's about it's about for. retaining it not not doing one it's thing like, i've got all these eyes on me i need to make content that makes these people stick around and be yeah. a fan of me which is also part of that whole like uh people who make a specific kind of content you know fortnite videos exclusively and if you don't turn those fan those viewers into fans of your personality rather than yeah. fans of fortnite like you're not gonna fucking last when Fortnite's dead. That's a big thing for gamers. Yeah, like well, if, and like if, you've if done that, you have done that pretty well as well. Well, because, it's because you used to just do CS:GO stuff like after once you peaked for a bit, and then you started like diversifying. Well, I think the difference is is that my videos were never really about CS:GO. They were always about jokes, talking, yeah. and, and like CS:GO was yeah. just the background. CS:GO like got people to click on it. It's like, yeah. oh, I like CS:GO. I'll see this guy. It's, it's the same thing with like yeah. commentary channels. They were, they were never talking about the game itself. They were just bantering or they were talking about something with their friends. Yeah, yeah, but like you you need you need that period of time to go like, I need to convince these people yeah. that like my content's good enough yeah. beyond like the mm. fucking shell that I'm putting it in. Oh, definitely. Well, well, that was that was what like Musalk and Lachlan did. Like their channels were just in this slump of ever declining until they found a game that their audience liked. Musalk's was Overwatch. He peaked with Overwatch. Well, but peaked, I, but he, I would like, say they're a different kind of creator in the sense that not saying that they don't. Well, they're, they're, they, they uh, focus on the game. That you guys, uh, yeah, you yeah, guys exactly. never focus on the game. Exactly. Playing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying they, they do it in a different way, but they still do it successful. I wouldn't say that they um, don't convert people into being fans of them, yeah. but they trend hop really well and they fucking grind very hard. Yeah. So it's like Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. When that does dip off like very hard, they yeah. will jump onto something else very successfully because yeah. they'll do it in the right way. The yeah. gameplay is like mindless, like that thing. People that are probably listening aren't looking at us. They're looking at that fucking TV in the background There's mindlessly. There's a lot of comments like, Am I it's, the only one who just, just looked at Banjo? <laughs> yeah. And all your fans are stoners as well, so you know they're just all <laughs> fucking. I don't think that many of them are actually stoners. I think a lot of them just enjoy watching I stoners be a, stoners. There's yeah. a skewed statistic with something like that as well, though, because you have like the majority vocal uh, fan base that comments or whatever. Yeah. Like you, that's that's all you're seeing, and you're like basing everything around that. Yeah. The majority are not commenting. That's They're always freaked viewers. me out. It's like you really don't know what most of your audience. Yeah, about so you. that's like when someone has a really toxic fan base. It's like no, that's just what goes to the surface because they're the most fucking vocal. Mm. You know what I mean? Like the majority is not fucking commenting on this bullshit. Oh, I, I always, I always think there's different sections because like I look at people that comment and I go, okay, these guys are weird. But then I meet people. The mo the majority of people I've met in real mm. life that have come up to me for a photo, like even today at the, uh, the JB, like every guy that came up to us was like a really genuine nice guy like, yeah. yeah like I yeah but that that's another thing yeah. like you're seeing people that are outside their house that are going to m more likely than not be normal because they're outside their house just by that fact you know what yeah. i mean like the people that are what so you're saying they're freaks when they're indoors no but i'm saying the ones that are indoors are more likely to be freaks well True? like i've always thought the statistics are just like oh like all my fans are epic because blah blah yeah. blah you know all my fans are older because i meet them at bars it's like because kids don't go to fucking bars but i never i never go to a shopping center and meet a kid that comes up and that's a photo everyone that i've met yeah, you do you definitely do like the one in 100 is I'm, a kid we're the same i mean when we do our meeting greets we have like 500 600 people show up they're always in their late teens and then there's like a few like 14, yeah. 13 year olds and a few well, people you, who are like three. Your PAX meetup last year was all like, everyone was 18. Like yeah. every single person well, almost was you know, 18. Yeah. I think 16, 17, yeah. 18 is at the yeah. core. But they, they were all, they weren't, they weren't like kids that come up like, hey, Fitz, I love your Fortnite because sign my keypad, my mouse pad. Well, you, you get people like that. It's yeah, fine. it's like, yeah. but it's the one in a hundred. It's the one in a hundred. Like, you're saying know. it like that's the worst st statistic. You're saying it's a bad like, to yeah, have that's, those. Yeah, that's that's the fans. one that's depending on what kind of video you make. Jake Paul, I don't fucking team ten. You know they're all kids. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah but that's, you, that's different. That's like you know, young, young. Yeah, you know but that's I mean? like the worst kind of young. You're poisoning this. Yeah, but it you depends. can have a. You, yeah, the, what, do you, like, what are you saying? Having a young fucking fan is 
Yeah, what, bad? Are you, what are you trying to say, Chad? Fuck yes! Are you saying you hate kids? <laughs> yes! I fucking hate kids! I want to beat them! Be is this, is this, is cause you, this all stems because you were fucked by those backpackers. It <laughs> just loops back to the childhood. <laughs> it does. No, Let's I talk just, about I, it. I, I, I don't like the idea of like, Kids watch. Listen, I don't like the idea. I don't of kids like the idea of kids watching my videos. Yes, because I swear I'm not a good. I get I'm that. not a good role model. Well, that makes sense. I get. Like that. you know, you know that one kid. That I'm afraid of that one kid that's gonna take what I say out of context and twist it into something else. <laughs> Yuri's coming to clean up this fucking mess I, you've no, made, Chad. With your table. ice, with your ice earlier on in the episode. I, just to pay, I asked him for it. There is a level time. of responsibility though. Like nah. The, well, it, look. It, uh, wait. Let me finish. Okay. It does exist. And it's not, it's not like you need to be like, oh, I need to, you know, look at all my jokes and decide that this needs to be fucking a certain way or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you need to realize that you are a role model, model at the end of the day, despite what you're doing. And I think you do that. It's not like you don't yeah. realize that. Like, you do put fucking heartfelt moments into your videos and things where you're like, mm. don't do this, don't do that, fucking... Yeah, definitely. I've, I've kind of been... I've struggled with that in the past. I've been like, how responsible am I for how much I impact my audience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, especially the younger audience. And like, I used to have an opinion of like, it was basically on the parents completely. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess like I, I should take some responsibility as well. But like you said, like with the podcast and um, and even the videos themselves, like we do include genuine moments where like we show, oh, we're not just like degenerates who just say offensive shit yeah. all the time. Like we actually have like proper conversations. There's context it's to it. It's not just yeah. like, well, this is all we're fucking doing. Yeah, and if I can like get some 13 year old to like listen to edgy comedy and then, you know, see the genuine side behind, mm -hmm. you know, why well, we you, do yeah. it and everything, then fucking, you know, I think that's fine. I think that's great. If you become way too obsessed with being a role model and you're like over analyzing everything you say, like fucking yeah. boogie, mm -hmm. For yeah, example, yeah, example where you where you need to apologize constantly yeah. you know yeah. that's like that's fucking deteriorating your health what i've always said is that like you know how parents have the sex talk with their kids mm -hmm. i think that now parents need to have the internet talk with their kids where they, right. si they sit them down and be like look like i know that you're going to access shit on the internet without me knowing that's kind of fucked up like mm. porn or whatever and like the parent just be frank with their like 12 year old 13 year old 14 year old kid and says like look like I can't stop you. I know you're going to go on the school computer and look up this shit, mm. but like, you know, here is like how you process this and here is like what's mm -hmm. good and yeah. what's bad. And even though you're exposing your kid to this, because I think kids are like more desensitized than ever these days. Yeah. Like as long as you instill in them good values and how yeah. to be a good person and interact what, what this properly. What person says is a joke. Don't yeah, take it seriously. Exactly. Then yeah. like they just grow up to be even more powerful than the kid who's sheltered. I, I also, I also, I also feel like I've taught uh, a lot of kids about some other stuff. Well, not kids, but you know, like. Well, that's what it's like. I, it's I like always, when you I always, I always teach people about how to deal with relationships. So that's me. I just fucked a lot of women. Like I always talk to people about <laughs> how to it's deal a sweet with segue, women. Bro. bro. It's how to deal with women. That's my big thing. Kind of a weird flex. I hate women. No, cut Wait, that. Whoa. I hate my wife, but woman as a whole is a whole nother hey, thing. Hey, okay? let me make me bring that tweet up again. What yeah, we, you, we were reading tweets yeah, and we've completely gone away from yeah, this. Let's go through the tweets, bro. Let's <laughs> go through the tweets. Um, so wait, I had one more point. I was going to say, it's like when you watch your old... Do you have when you watch your old videos, if someone puts your video on while you're in the room, that you do not like listening to it? It depends on the video. A lot of my uh, videos are just like friends bantering. And I, I, love, I, feel like I love seeing people react to those. But if it's like a cringe old video with just me or it's... It's yeah, I funny. feel like you're in a weird position where because almost all your videos, like from like the recent success onwards, are with friends, it's not the same like thing that I'm talking about. Yeah, but it's like for me, and I, I know like a lot of other creators are the same. If you put like their any of their old videos on, they fucking hate it mm. because because they are way better at doing stuff now because they're constantly learning and growing and making better and bigger things. It's like don't watch that or like I'm I'm ashamed of that almost because that's something that was. You know, off yeah. my past. It's it's kind of one of the beautiful things about being a YouTuber or an influencer. You know, I hate that word. Because like every, a gamer. so do I, but gamer. a gamer. It's a cool thing about being a gamer on the internet, guys, is that you know your audience grows with you in a sense, and you mm. like if they go back, they can see how far you've come. Mm. Like that timeline's there. Yeah. And even though it's kind of cringe, like if they've got any That's intelligence cringe, at all, they'll know that it was from 2016 yeah. and that. Yeah. 
It was a different time. I've, I've, met, I've met some people that have been like, I've been watching you since I was 16 and now I'm 20 and I'm an yeah. adult. Yeah, I, like, I kind of like it. It's I do. weird because yeah. it's, like, like, it's, it's all it, new, really, yeah, because yeah. I don't, I don't like the calling, internet itself hasn't yeah. been around. I don't like though. calling like subs like family or like followers mm. like family. I That's hate that. That's manipulative. I hate that, it's yeah. It's also gay. But <laughs> it, it, it feels... It, I, no, I, let me get the point. I just wanted to say that before I said this because it's like, it's kind of like they grew up with you, weirdly enough, because they went through the same like internet era as you. They went through the same... My name's Jeff true, meme yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. they're essentially like just this, your generation. Uh, it's unprecedented. It's gone. It's like ongoing. YouTube has, well, at least for me, like I feel like I've been doing YouTube almost since YouTube became a thing. Mm. Like um, I think I've been doing it probably longer than like you guys. Oh, been definitely. Been I remember school. watching you when I was fucking like I didn't even start. Thanks, Thanks bro. bro. Oh, that was so awkward. It was so cringe. Hey, delete that. Footage. Give each other a hug, bro. Just give each other a hug. Hey, can you just put your hand on my shoulder instead? I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. <laughs> um, that was gay. Um, gay. What was I going to say? What was I saying again? You got fucked in boarding school. I didn't Sorry. get fucked by the boarding school priest. Read the tweets. Hey, remember when they put this, your, their sticks in your ass? Shut bro? up. Read the tweet. Stop putting memories in my head. That Wait, never what were we saying? What was I going to say? You were saying that you've been doing it longer than us. And um, I remember you saying you hate black people. Oh. And we also fucked up the brofus. I went for a brofus. You went for a handshake like I a boomer. I was going to shake your hand. Like You're a, a boomer. Yeah, like peers this rather than like homies. Bro. We're not homies? Your hands are so cold. You're, I'm sorry. I'm a cold guy. Your circulation is fucked. I know. It's a problem. Hey bro, we can do both. We can do this. We can do the ball and socket. Full of light uh, that's where you do one of these. Drink, bro. You Shut do up, one Chad. of these. You do one of these. I do one of these. That's the ball and socket, bro. This feels uncomfortable. You don't know how. You got both of you do not know how to drink. You're both horrible alcoholics. Shut, Shut the up. fuck up, Chad. You're I'm a very coherent. Read a tweet, then, bro. Show I can read a tweet. <laughs> okay, read a tweet, bro. All right, Cameron, <laughs> if that is your real name. It might be. This is from 2016, 20th of September. Not a good month for me. When I get home. I'm quitting my restaurant job. You also put one of these emojis. I don't okay, Sam. So like, wait, no, that's what's that like, about? That's that a hate some, speech symbol. That's a hate speech symbol. Oh. What is that? Well, well, what did you mean by this? I was like, <laughs> look, I, I, it's time to fully commit my. <laughs> when I get home, I'm quitting my restaurant job. It's time to fully commit myself to making dope videos for a living. What did you mean by this? <laughs> Well, so what was your breaking point? I was working, working as a waiter at the time uh -huh. at a quite a nice restaurant. I was enjoying myself, but like that was after my chat. Oh, Susan Wohickey's going to demonetize, bro. Put it down. Hey, put some editing in this. You guys don't know how why to run a show. I'm just saying. These guys do not know how to run <laughs> Sorry, a show no, at all. Yeah, you go. Go. Carry on. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was after my video blew up and like I was gaining subscribers. I remember having a conversation with my mom at the time about like how this could actually be big so you feel like you recognize like this is an up and coming thing i i just knew that it was an opportunity that i had to take it was can, like, I, can i ask a weird question sure what was your first youtube paycheck that you can remember where you were like okay that didn't come till much later I, I earned fuck all on youtube i really i went from earning pretty similar to my restaurant job for like a good yeah but when was the first well, paycheck? what was it what yeah, was the what? first one i don't want to i don't want to say what what was, fuck off. shut up I say. how much Why? how it's much was the first paycheck where you're like was fifty dollars i remember yeah. catching oh. fifty dollars well like i was you know you no know. how much was the first paycheck where you're like okay this can pay rent right i was I making do this. like i be can't be careful i can't remember what it careful. was i i don't want to i don't know these normies will be like a thousand dollars? Wow! Well, wow. Well, look, put it this way: at the at the restaurant, I was making about four hundred bucks a week. Okay, yep. which isn't that much. And it was that's low, New that's Zealand low. dollars. New Zealand dollars, which that's is like low. what, like two hundred US or something like that. Yeah. Um, and on YouTube, I was maybe making like six hundred a week, New Zealand dollars. And I was like, hey, this is more than my restaurant job. Time to quit this bitch and like see what yeah. happens, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it was a restaurant job. I knew I could go back into hospitality if it fell apart. Yeah. Like it wasn't like I was leaving a law firm or something. So yeah, it wasn't like you're leaving a job that you progressed ten years. Yeah, exactly. Sucked like, off yeah. the boss's cock to it get was, a promotion. Yeah, that's not like the biggest risk. Yeah, yeah it was a relatively it's, easy decision to make yeah. at the time. But at the same, you know, it was still exciting. Obviously, yeah. I remember when I hit twenty k subs, which was off the back of that first video that blew up. I was I was driving home. Um, to my parents house i was on holiday at the time i was in their car mm. and i was just slapping the steering wheel i was so excited i was like this could actually be my job like this could happen like i was still doubting 
but this could happen. Like this. Yeah, could, you always, you always, some healthy doubt. Yeah, yeah. some healthy yeah. doubt. And but you know, I was still optimistic about it. I was still like, who the fuck knows what's gonna happen? Yeah. And that's kind of crazy to think back on, to be honest with you, because I feel like a lot more people should go for that. It makes me wonder. Um, oh, no, you how, don't, you don't, don't encourage that because I wouldn't people, necessarily yeah, encourage it. Yeah. However, at the same time, it makes me wonder what YouTubers were on the brink of exploding and then were like, oh, let me be more safe. Let me not do that. I got lucky for sure. Like a big part that, of it but was that is a That is a huge thing that most but, people who are successful say. I saw a thing where that was like almost one of the most quoted things. It's were true they, though. I think yeah, it's really true. It is true to a degree, but people never give themselves enough credit who are successful and are doing something at least um, entrepreneurial or like yeah i don't mean i don't mean to sound like an asshole but it just doesn't come for any like everyone it's yeah. like it has to be something that you have naturally and you have to really work for it you really You're, have it's to. also like a right place right time kind yeah. of thing you know like well my my my, I th- I my big like my big break was deciding that you're more lucky and you're just like it really it is all up yeah. To that. like i yeah but you have a lot of aspects about you and like your path that you've taken to get to where you are that you're sort of just discrediting like no, oh it was all luck i don't like, def- I was i'm not right saying it's right i'm not saying it's all luck but definitely a big like there are plenty of really talented funny people who go well, unnoticed for years just all, because they're not yeah, in the right place at the right time. Some of those people take that fucking plight. You're right. And eventually right. do get there. You're or right. I, some like if you fucking give them a hand up or you eventually know if they keep making something that is genuinely very good, mm. eventually I feel like they will break out. Eventually, it. but some unfortunately some people just don't get the shot. And that's what I mean about like just being cautious about investing everything into it, you know? Especially there's, a, like, there's maybe yeah, a balance. I, I just but I'm just saying like remain humble if you're small. Like don't think like I have the goods. Gonna happen, I'm yeah. gonna make it. I, I've been I, very I cautious. Feel, I feel like I'm more um, open to the idea of taking like the bigger risk because I was on fucking Centrelink. You know what Centrelink is? Now yeah, it's like <laughs> it's a meme in Australia. It's like yeah, it's welfare. So it's like benefits. It's, it's, welfare. 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 it's the doll, right? Uh, yeah. So I was doing that to pay rent, and I was looking for jobs. And a lot of my early videos, which are all privatized now, were <laughs> vlogs of me going to the job center. Really? Where I was just like, this is the job center. Look at the computer. It's so shitty, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's, th- that was content that I was making while I was doing it. And it was only when I was making $50 a fucking month from YouTube that I was like, I will attempt to do this. I will try to go full time doing YouTube. Hmm. Like, and it, that was a huge fucking risk to do. But where I, I, I stopped doing fucking Centrelink and all that. Okay to do it right. and i mean that worked out for me so that's why i feel like i encourage the risk more sure risk taking is important for success yeah. it's un- it's unquestionable I uh, well i think one of the most useful things uh, and skills you can have especially as a young person is just self-awareness and just like reflecting constantly on your behavior how you're acting how you're I, feeling I, st- I still do that well i think it's like if you're not doing it i would be concerned yeah too, because <laughs> you know at this point you're, you're getting kind of old you're kind of a boomer to be honest with you, Chad. So if like, you say you're boomer a- one more time i'm gonna go <laughs> blow up a <laughs> Your mustache looks like it's going grey, bro. A little bit, a little bit of salt and pepper there, Chad. A little bit of salt and pepper. I hate this. I'm getting silver fox. Am I right? A little bit of silver fox, ladies. Everyone behind yeah. the camera just started hard yeah. grogging. You like, many- you like silver, fo- silver foxes, there, eh, ladies? What's happening? You like salt what and is pepper? This show? Yeah? It's going <laughs> shit. <laughs> Anyway, so what was that point here, boys? The point is risk taking. Self awareness. Risk, 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 risk taking. Risk. Going to YouTube, it's soul crushing. No. We'll fucking handle it. Wait, wait, just, boys, risk, just before stay we Stay to your just, fucking just soul crushing just, account and jobs. Just, just, bef- just before we transition <laughs> into the, the taking the risk, there were people that took risk. And this is one thing that I got mad at Keem for. He was like, he was like, if you doing good on YouTube, quit your. He, I remember this tweet quit your jobs, leave university, become a YouTuber. Apocalypse hit. You know how many people I knew with like 100k subs that had quit their jobs they've been working for years to pursue it and then all of a sudden Is it a lot or is this bullshit? It's about three people. <laughs> That's <laughs> a lot! Them. Name them, bro. <laughs> I don't want to because they still pursue it. Okay. But we can bleep it. And then all these people are like, oh, I just quit my job and dropped out of a degree I've been studying three years for. What do I do now with my life? I'm yeah, gonna but go- there's a level of sensibility to it. It's not like... That's what we're trying to. Like, I, th- I feel like the point we're trying to get to is there's a level of sensibility to it. See, yeah, like, but with my thing, that's what I'm saying. Kim what never, I'm sa- Kim what never I did that sensibility. He just said, "Right, I don't care who you are." Yeah. Some people are just fucking retarded, guess, <laughs> and they're gonna have oh, bad cheers judgment. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Some people are just fucking retarded. Shut All right, up. wait, wait, Shut wait up. before you drink. I would love to play this new game. Never have I ever. Oh fuck, I don't like this game. Can we get some more grog in the cup? Can we get some more refills on the drinks, please? I haven't really done a lot of things, I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, don't we, touch we, that drink. We don't know what they are, because Scott wrote them all down, so. 
I don't trust Scott as far as I can throw him. He's pretty skinny. <laughs> I trust Scott with my life. I can probably throw you a little I bit. I trust Scott with my life. Is that Zoomer or Scott? You're all Zoomers. Am I the oldest in the fucking room? How old are you? 25. You're oldest. 26 fuck. this year. Laura, Laura's 25. Okay, epic. All right. Are you boys ready to drink? Yeah, I'm ready to drink. Sure. If you've done it, you know the rules. You've got to drink. Yes. And I'm talking big gulps. No <laughs> pussy. Gulps. No little sips. Well, we're going to have to top him up. Oh, he's got a big drink there. I probably haven't done any of this shit. I'll be give honest. Him, give him a top up on the whiskey too. Come on. Scott wrote this. this. Is a what fine. the fuck are you talking about? Is Scott a normie? He is a normie. It probably says, have you seen The Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever deleted a tweet because it didn't get enough likes. Oh, that's a rough one. I think we've all done that. I'll have like a window of maybe like 30 minutes or an hour and I'm like, this ain't doing well. Mm. Yeah, this yeah, same, sucks. same. Never have I ever submitted my own video to Reddit. Fuck. You can drink mine for that. What? All right, I'll drink yours. You can drink both. Double. Some. What? You did it as well. Maybe drink, once, come on, bro. bro. This is a game. Give me the rule. <laughs> drink, have a drink, bro. You've never submitted a video to Reddit, Fuck Chad? No. I was you don't make videos. You don't make videos. Live stream fails. You've submitted your clips. I didn't submit it. my own clips because you can see what Twitch account clipped it. Okay. Never have I ever <laughs> eaten hair. <laughs> Fuck. Guys, hair cake. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is this all you got? Okay, next. Oh, I, well, I mean, I also had Chad's fucking beard yeah. last fucking week. I'm assuming this is fucking angled at him. Maybe you. Never have I ever nervously checked Swagger Soul's social blade. No, I have never done that. I'm not worried about that guy. What the fuck is this specific question? I think like, Scott, Scott, me. Scott, Scott's Scott trying to make... We had this conversation earlier. Are you? A fr uh, let me just ask a question. Oh, this does is. It, what, does it bother <laughs> you that Swagger is eventually going to overtake you at the rate that he's going? I honestly don't even know if he's going to do that, but oh, okay. it doesn't that bother me. Like some denial, it does, bro. It, it, if, if he You're does, humble, it wouldn't bother me. It, yeah. on, on, it honestly wouldn't. Okay, but secretly, maybe a little. I mean, a good example is that his, like we did the U2's figurines recently. His one sold out like immediately, well, there's, and there's mine did not. There's aspects of that he just released like a clickbait like face reveal video for his that was like that would be arguably one of a I great mean, milestone video to release and then plug something like yeah. that like his his ad was better than mine but his, his figurine is also awesome you want to know why, you does know why it matter was really at the end of the day you all sold them all out right yeah but his character was like a lot better than mine do you want to know why it sold out Chad, before yours think? just you want to know sure Scott edited he's it. trying to you edited that oh yeah he was in it yeah, he was in. It. He edited a little bit of it. No, but what I was gonna say is that like a lot of people tweeted me, being like, "Swagger Soul sold out before you. You must be so embarrassed. You must be so like, you must be crushed by this." But like, it didn't. It legitimately didn't cross my mind that like I would be upset by that. It crossed his mind. It did not. Him. I was happy for him. I really was. I really was. I promise. Like, I'll drink to that, bro. Like, like I support my bros. You know, and if he overtakes me, then I'll be, I'll see hey, it. Bro, I'll cheers to that. Like if if he overtakes me, boys. if he overtakes me, I'll see it coming, and I'll be like, I'll be expecting it. You know what I mean? But also, there's no reason to really fucking hold yourself up against. You're both successful. You're both doing what you love. At this point, dude, I've been doing it for like three years, and I'm kind of fucking over. That's almost. pathetic. <laughs> it's kind of cringe. <laughs> like, YouTube's kind of a normie meme. You know? Why would you put that on there? What the fuck is wrong with you, Just Scott? Start conversation. <laughs> what the fuck, Scott? It's an important dialogue. That yeah. we no. Shut up. Never have I ever hit my head while walking through a door. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Okay. He's tall. It's a tall meme. Have you though? Is that a thing that's happened? A couple times. It was nothing. I feel like probably, uh, probably. Yeah, probably. I guess. Yeah. It wasn't a big was deal Japan, or anything. Probably a fucking like one of the ones in New Zealand, the fucking Hobbit <laughs> holes, maybe. I don't think I'd hit my head on a normal. It's actually door. really offensive that you said that. Is that a derogatory word, a hobbit hole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never, have I, never have I ever received a tattoo. That's it? On my ass. Okay. Scott, what is this? You're just making everyone take turns and drink it. Big grog. Big, big grog. Big, big grog. Can we talk about the tattoo that never made air? No, we'll do that another time. Delete it. No, nah, we can't. I don't want to get demonetized. I'm struggling yeah. to pay off my mortgage. Net. All right. This one's for all the boys. <laughs> okay, no way. It might be specifically not. <laughs> I hate this. Every time Scott gives us piece of paper, says read Never it have I ever been on a Tinder date. Fuck me. I actually haven't. I genuinely haven't. No. I'm in hell. Is this purgatory? 
Is this where you go before heaven or hell? No, just take me now, bro. Sin. Big one, big one. Half of that. Half of what's left. Oh my god, that's all of what's left. Oh, he can drink mine if I don't drink in the last just one. Just give me top up, bro. I'm no, 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 you. leave it. It's fine. Keep leave going, it. top up. Now, Why am I drinking vodka? I'm okay, next. Never have I ever been named Chad Roberts. <laughs> Shut up. Let's not say that. Where? I hate this. Scott, what is wrong with that? Wait. You heard the man, Chad Roberts. Did you just get doxxed, bro? <laughs> that game sucked. I had to drink every single time almost. It's kind of a shit game. <laughs> well, that game sucked. More tweets. Is that all you had for us? I hope that uh, Hot Ones has better games than this. I hope Hot Ones burns. I hate you. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever pissed myself. I've pissed myself. I've Maybe it's an infant. I mean, what classifies piss? Like, what if a little bit dribbles out? Uh, I mean, Doesn't like, that happen always? It, yeah. Almost every time a bit, little bit dribbles you, out. I can shake my cock as much as I want, but as soon as I tuck it back in, those few drops The key is out. giving it a squeeze. <laughs> okay, I'll try that. Remember Thank that. You yes. for the tip, bro. You're welcome. I, I, I do that, I I do that after jerk. You know when you finish jerking oh, off? You, and you know, you know when you get pre cum after jerking off? Uh. You can actually milk your dick and you can get it out so it doesn't leak into your underwear. That is disgusting. So what do you what do you guys think? Of, what do you think of the new office, Jared Curiosity? It's nice. I like it here. Like, you sarcastic. Cunt. I'm being serious. I'm a, I'm a serious guy. <laughs> I can't tell you sarcastic. No, it's voice genuinely you're a fucking amalgamation of six different accents. Not even. <laughs> 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 no, it's genuinely. I like it here. It's nice. Yeah, it's it's cozy. You got the plants. Do you think? Sorry. You got a sign. Do you think that's a more common thing that's going to happen? I think so. The, the, Fuck up. No, I'm being serious. I'm actually like, talking. What are you man? answering? Because I know what you're going to say. You're going to say it's going to be more common for accents to blend. I'm you fucking... Just, what I'm the a, hell? Are you... I'm 9,000 IQ. I, I thought he was going to ask about it getting offices as a YouTuber. But Chad, right. you're, you're, Chad that's shut what up. I thought you got, yeah. Boomer. Um, yeah, the amalgamation of like <laughs> fucking the accents because I've noticed it with not necessarily just you, but like Lachlan. His oh. accent is all fucked up. Who's Lachlan? Lachlan? Fortnite. Oh, uh, from Click? One with the paintbrush hair. Oh, I know, I know Lachlan, yeah. I feel like I want to pick up his... Power by Lachlan, bro. I want to pick up his skinny body and dip it in a tub of paint and paint my walls with his head. That's uncomfortable. Yeah, he, but ha he, he has a fucked up accent as well. Because it's the exact same thing as you. He... All his friends and everyone that he fucking plays games with yeah. is all over the fucking world. Yeah. He's an Australian with who plays a lot of games with Americans. With an American his accent. accent is all fucked up. Yeah. Well, yeah, and yours I mean, is like New Zealand, Australian, American, fucking UK, maybe. A bunch of different shit. It's, 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 it's very it's weird. Really it's butchered. It sounds horrible. I hate it so much. I love it. I think it's Stop the talking. Best. I hate it. I uh, dislike you. Uh, Chad, my <laughs> accent is What funny did you mean by that? <laughs> Chad <laughs> uh, I asked this when Swagger Souls came on Favourite misfit Out of everyone besides yourself Are you already going to ask me this While Matt's sitting He's right, right there He's right there bro What's your favourite misfit bro Toby Toby I've known Toby the longest He's my school friend He's lying He's lying <laughs> It's kind of Swagger Souls I don't know <laughs> No I like Toby a lot Toby I've known forever You know He is a, he is a Toby that has never been Never graced the internet Surely you've got something Back in the head. Uh, man, that's tough. Me and I mean, a big. I think we've talked about this on our podcast actually. But me and Toby used to. Our school was all ages, if you can believe that. So they were like little kids at the school, as well as kids who were like 16, 17, 18. You know, mm -hmm. um, me and Toby used to like. I play the guitar. I'm pretty good. I won't lie. I have seen you play the car, the guitar. You are gr great. Okay. I'm kind, of, I, to, I'm kind of a sensation. Don't devalue yourself. You're quite good at it. Uh, but yeah, we used to like improv a lot of songs like i would just start playing chords and me and toby would just make up stories on the spot like in musical fashion you did that, you did that recently in your podcast Wait, it's a kind of a regular yeah. theme on the podcast yeah. yeah uh but anyway there was this uh children's book called um going on a bear hunt you might have heard it we're going, going on, on a bear, bear hunt, hunt. We're, we're going, going to catch a big one, one. Uh, so we, I'm, not I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Yeah, something like that. Over it. Yeah, it's yeah. like a repetitive yeah, yeah, children's yeah, yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me and Toby used to like open this children's book, and we used to like improv the story, and the kids would gather around and they'd listen to us like perform this like improv song about going on a bear hunt. Kids used to love it. You know, it's kind of well, a wholesome well, story. I don't so know. So what was I the like what it. was the improv part? I mean, <laughs> we used to like just like add to it in a funny way, you know. So it was the same. You're saying this is like same chord progression and sort of like. I mean, there's no song. I made up the song. Yeah. You know. Well, that, that's what I meant. What you're saying sounds like you're just singing, going on a bit. No, like we added to it. it. Like we put the N word in it. Like the kids laughed. Uh, it was oh, funny. that's sweet. That makes the song a <laughs> hundred and fifty <laughs> times better. Yeah, I would have loved that. No. As a child I was literally thinking that because uh, when I was hanging out with Ice Side and Voldasad <laughs> used to improv songs like that. 
where he would. Okay, never mind. Just cut it. Cut it. Never mind. Wait, how long have you been running for? Because An hour we've and got a lot. I, think I feel like I've been here for days. <laughs> I told you. I said purgatory. Purgatory. You, were like, you say it too much. I told you this is the room for it. Is that, uh, is that Jim? Not more Bombay Sapphire. I don't trust Yuri. He Thanks, looks like Yuri. Harry Potter with those glasses. We've got enough footage that we can get. Fucked you look like Harry Potter wrong. fucked Hedwig and then like the, you're the their owl? son. That That's, is the owl. That is right? the owl. That is the owl. Wow. But like, no, let's drink. Wait, don't drink it. Chad's I really just have a bad work ethic. Right? <laughs> well, what do you do on a day to day basis? Are you fucking making at least filming? I cook a lot of bread. I spilt it. Oh my god. So did I. Oh. I'm gonna go to bed now. Cool. Is what you tweeted. Oh no. In 2016. Jesus Christ. 11th what, what month? 11th of October. Bad month. Bad month. It's a bad month for Fitz, it's a bad month. yeah? It's a bad month. <laughs> you just edited. I'm, I'm speaking third person now about while reading this. I edited? Talking to you. You edited oh. in this month. <laughs> you were editing. Fuck. It's just a fact, bro. Fuck. <laughs> For 10 hours straight, apparently. 10 hours. What was I thinking? Also, the video will not render. Oh my <laughs> God. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can't believe that. It wouldn't render. Well, the thing is, Vids. What's that, Max? <laughs> it wasn't. It was It was for the best because you weren't 100% happy with it, apparently. <laughs> Apparently. I, you know what? If there's one thing I hate... What it's, video? It's, what did you mean by Max, that? Max, if there's one thing... <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand, Max, it's not being 100% happy. Well, that would make sense. I, I presume so. So... <laughs> can I grab another shot, please? Here's to being not 100% happy. Why am I the most fucked? Because you've, you've scalped me half, so... I'm a little bit... Am I the most fucked? It was swap. Is this a message to the boys? Can we have an intervention live on the show? Please. We did. We had that start with Chad, right? That's true. About the it raping. was kind of an intervention about the <laughs> raping. Did I mention the sponsor's episode is from <coughs> Game Us Up? In 2016, 27th of March. Of mm. March. Bad month. 2016 was a bad year. I have decided against streaming tonight. Sorry. Inappropriate grammar there. There oh, should probably be I'm a good. comma before Fuck, at I the end of up. that tonight. I fucked up the grammar. I really have to put more time into my content on YouTube. Oh, I definitely did at the time. Is this... What did you mean by that? I think I was um, I was going through a rough patch. And I think that I just... I wasn't... I just... I just you weren't focusing I, on Twitch. I you, wasn't. You wanted to put more I fucking time into YouTube as you American. Are you a therapist, Max? Because you just hit the nail on the fucking head right there. What did you mean by... <laughs> that was by far the best stream. We've ever had. I streamed a lot back in the day. This is 2016. That was a weird year. March. Streaming's lit. Two, uh, 20th, of, 20th of March. I feel like that was potentially a bad month. Bit of a bad month. That was by far the best stream we've ever had. Hitting 1,000 followers and getting over 100 views is absolutely insane. I can't believe it. Still to this day, I remember that. And I think like... <laughs> What a big month. <laughs> I feel like you're backstabbing a lot of viewers who are still on this wage. No. You you still mean that? You you, you feel like getting a thousand followers and getting over a hundred views? Whatever is Is it epic? Whatever is significant to you at the time is significant. That's very profound. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Fitz. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Let's get Eric Andre on this podcast. <laughs> Can I break the desk? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We should get some fucking paper desks to just smash. Uh, this movie laughed my whiskey and it blew back into my eyes and actually kind of burned my eyes a little bit. So there you go. Oh, this is this one's a heartfelt one. Read you can't read. You can't read, Chad. Let me, let me you read. went to boarding school. Egg. Bread, my dick fell off. Okay, I get it. My dick fell off. Okay. It's 2016. Bad year. Bad year. Bad year. Not the best. 8th of November. Oh, bad month. Problematic month it's for me. It's a shitty month for you, month. Fitz. It's kind of a shitty month in general. The most meaningful thing. So you had a glimmer of hope in that month. A least. small amount. Tiny. The most meaningful thing about YouTube for me is when people tell me that my videos have made them laugh and when they're in a dark place. That's very gay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you mean by this? <laughs> That's not funny, guys. Like, yeah, I feel like you're really getting serious That's now. not funny, guys. I have a follow-up. <laughs> I think I was meant to read this first. That's not funny. 
<laughs> she said, you said, you said, a few years ago, my favorite YouTubers had the same impact on me. Oh my God. I think that's why it's so surreal to hear oh. from my viewers. That got five retweets. So it really hit <laughs> Five retweets. That Maybe really, it's... that really connected. <laughs> That really connected to the masses. <laughs> <laughs> the fans were ecstatic. You can see it, it did quite literally. Wait, that's not the one. That was a banger tweet. It was a it banger. Did, it did quite literally get five retweets. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I, I honestly think. <laughs> yeah, bro. I honestly think that I had more of an ego when, when I was irrelevant. Were, when, when you were smaller. Than, than I do than now. Yeah. I honestly think I did. I really do. I mean, I was like 18. You know, like I, I didn't know any better. I was tweeting cringe shit. I think I tweeted racist things while in 2016. I, I, th I think that sounds about right. I think, yeah. this I think this comes back to what I was saying earlier, though. That it's like, it's the same thing with the videos. When you put on your old videos, mm. you're putting on your old tweets, and you're like, it's your old self. This is something that I've grown from, and I'm way sure. better than now. I mean, I, I processed the it's world podcast. differently back then. It's I really did. has gone full circle, bro. We're back. We've we've gone from cringe to philosophical to fucking the blacks uh this guy asked what job do you have in between making great videos mm -hmm. which you replied i work part-time as a waiter which is true of course right and then you said and i produce esports commercials in that's particular true for esl that's actually true i tell us about that so I, I feel like you haven't touched on that i haven't i haven't actually talked about that very much at all publicly i used to it wasn't for esl directly it was for a company called level 99 which like worked with ESL. So I, I would produce um, the Facebook trailers for like IEM or ESL upcoming events. You're just saying a lot of abbreviations. These are words the that true gamers will understand. Okay. But I, uh, I I mean I know ESL, but yeah, I what were those other ones? Like social <laughs> I produced commercials that would go on the social media for ESL. You were a good editor, right? I was like average at best. But at the time, I thought pretty highly of myself. And I always left them to the last minute as well, but don't tell the company that. Okay. But they were like, you know, it was a small time gig. I got paid and like probably not enough for the work, but it was a, it was like experience in the industry. And I, I did it, that's what I did, yeah. For how long though? Like how many of those mm. projects did you do? I did maybe um, like five or six commercials over the span of like six months, I guess. So I was- How much did you get paid? <laughs> Okay, you're all fucky. I'm cutting this off very I soon. want to say I got paid like 600 bucks NZ for that. Like all, all in all. All in all? And that was like six, six commercials. So like... Six, I, that you were definitely I ripped probably off. got ripped off. A hundred New Zealand dollars I, per... Look, I don't want to like cast aspersions. I don't feel negative about it at all. Like for me, well, I was no just shit, a young guy. Like, I'm just they gave me a shot. I, I also want to point out that it wasn't ESL directly that paid me. It was a different... It was an ad agency. Right. But I like, you know, I just did work at the time. And that was, that was one of the things I did. That was one of your um, stones on your fucking pathway. Little, little, to success. little touchstone on the way to success, and I'm grateful for that. I really am. A stepping stone, if you will. If they paid me poorly or not, I'm grateful for that. I really am. Maybe. I'm so fucked. Yeah. Cunt. Hey, hey guys, hey guys. Um, so I think we've we've spoken enough tonight. I would love to hear a little secret from each of y'all. A tell secret. Me, tell me a secret you haven't told anyone on the oh, internet. Oh. <laughs> That's a tough fucking thing. Like bomb to drop on someone out of the blue. I guess that um, I, I I guess like my one secret be I, I dated a girl in high school, and um, I feel bad about it because I I broke up with her purely because like I just I just couldn't be fucked anymore, and I probably should have handled it a little bit better. That's oh, my one. That's secret. quite tame. That's it's tame, but I like that's, that's the truth. Tame. It's the truth. The moral of my secret would just be to be Fuck careful with me. people's feelings a when secret. you're that age. Fuck people! I'm a prick. Your turn. Can you say trigger words that might like induce some sort of fans? Pokemon. I've never fucked a fan or. Have fan. you ever jacked off the Pokemon Rule Thirty Four Max no. Mofo? That's disgusting. I I know you have. You dirty son of a bitch. Give me more. Give me more topics. Family that might like trigger something. I fucking vaulted. Your mama. <laughs> my mom. I've never fucked my mom. Wait a minute. You might be onto something then. Your mama. No. <laughs> Xbox. 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 Friendship. Childhood. I've never fucked my Xbox. Childhood friends. Childhood friends. Betrayal. You're, you're Sadness. getting something. Sorrow. Wait a minute. Tears. Are we on X Files? <laughs> What's happening? Take a seat. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Dad. <laughs> Dad, 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 no. Did you tell a secret yet? 
Not yet. Shut oh up. God, Come on, talk seriously? about it. Just talk about it publicly. No. Why not? Why not? No. Melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> In school, I do remember taking a lot of um, time off with um, saying I was sick. I remember sitting up in like on top of a cement block or something and my math teacher came up and he was like, oh, you're feeling very sick. You don't want to go to, you don't want to fucking attend class. Oof. Yeah, it was quite crucial mm. in my development. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I was like, no, I feel very sick. I don't want to do this. I don't want to fucking do it today. But you were and lying. I, I was lying and I did that quite a lot, I feel. So you're a degenerate. That's your secret? Well, you skipped school a couple times. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, on on the exact same topic. It's probably, so probably. Mine was about a relationship between two people. That it sucks. was a beautiful thing. Wait, no, yeah, on the exact same thing. School, school, school. Um. Get to the point. Bro. It's not. A, it's not a secret. I feel like you have like a All lot right, of. You, you have a lot of like. My uh, Repressed rape. But. But. I wasn't raped. He was kind of raped a little bit. No, I don't. I don't have anything. I'm uh, trying my best. Shut up. Shut up. Give up. Um, I got one. It's not a secret, but it's, it's just something that I'm pulling out of the hat that I've never told. And don't you can't read your own tweets to me, idiot. They're kind of funny. I, I like them. <laughs> it's not about you, fuckhead. Sorry, I am the guest though. Um, I don't have anything. Alright, give up. Um, oh, in Drink, wo- in wait, it? wait, in woodwork class, I did nothing for the entire year. Wait, I drew a lot of fucking cartoons. That's and that is all I did for woodwork class. And my teacher gave up on me. Who would have thought that Max Murphy would be so fucking boring? Chad, go on. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah, but What was yours again? <laughs> Mine was just that, like, I wish that I handled myself better when I was a young guy in a relationship. That was all it You're was. You're so fucking gay, bro. Why is that gay? You're telling me off for telling me. Well, at least I said something. I said when I was in woodwork class... I didn't do um, any of the class, and my teacher told me, you need to do the class. And I was like, can you but I want to draw instead. Oh I'm here, guys. That was, like, is it my turn Shut yet? up. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is I want to establish that his fucking secret was dog shit. I didn't. What am I supposed to say? Is it my turn yet? Chad, yeah. go. Please speak. We feel like you will. You ready? Trump, please Trump speak, everyone, Chad. Stop no, trying not, to patronize. It's not that bad. It's, uh, I think I have a kid. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for watching Cole Wants. I've been your host. Anything for views. Our guest Fitz and Matt co-host Max.